Hi Aries, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Today I am doing your reading for October 2020 on how your person feels about you, okay? All right, let's see what we got here. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Aries on how their person feels for October 2020. Please give us clear messages for Aries. Alrighty. Thank you, Aries, for all your shares, your likes, your subscribes. I really appreciate it all. This one wanted to come, so we're going to go with that one. And let's see what we got here. Okay. At the bottom of the deck here, we have the two of wands with the six of coins. That's the underlying energy here. So perhaps I think you might be making some choices in terms of your financial stability or your financial growth. Okay. With the six of coins, it's about giving and receiving. And so I think you're trying to find some balance uh, between this. Okay, you're trying to find some balance between what you give and what you receive. And you're trying to make some choices in terms of like, how can you go about this? How can you do this differently? Okay. I know that was like kind of money related, but you know, it could be equal give and take too in terms of relationships. So let's see here. And the first position is what they're thinking is the Ace of Wands. This is awesome. So with the Ace of Wands, your person wants a new beginning with you, okay? Uh, they feel inspired by you. They feel like, uh, you know, there's something new and exciting in terms of this relationship with you, okay? I think they kind of see you as having a lot of magnetism and passion and just a lot of excitement. They see you as somebody with a lot of excitement around them. They think of you that way. They see you as a new possibility, a new beginning, something where uh, new ideas and new concepts of relationships can be formed with you. And overall, they feel excitement, I think. And then how do they feel deep down is the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. So they kind of feel, I think they're feeling lucky with you, right? With the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like they're, they probably feel like they are ending some past cycles that they've had, maybe uh, with other people or with you, okay? Because um, maybe you guys are ending some cycles in terms of the current phase of your relationship. Maybe you guys are starting a new phase where things are more exciting, where you're leaving certain things behind, where you're starting something new. And this could be what your person is feeling too, okay? I think they're starting to see your relationships in terms of like the dynamic um, kind of nuances of your relationship, okay? So they kind of see it, I feel like they kind of see it as a prism Okay, where like, you know, things can can just change colors, things can change perspectives, things can change, you know, from day to day with you guys. Okay, um, and this is in the position of how they feel deep down. I think overall, those are all positive things, though. I think that they, they deep down feel like you guys are leaving behind some dark cycle that you have experienced and now you're kind of coming into uh, this area of much more lightheartedness and much more um, happiness okay um, perhaps where things are looking less dark uh, less like I feel like you guys went through a time where there were like things look kind of hopeless okay but now I think things you're you're person deep down feels much more hopeful about how things can develop from now forward. They might be leaving certain thoughts behind too. Like, you know, they could have been um, just kind of in a gloomy place themselves or in a place where they weren't 
looking at the positives around them, but I kind of feel like they are leaving that behind and they're acknowledging their uh, role in that. And now they're seeing, they're trying to see all the optimism and the happiness around the relationship with both of you. Okay. And then what do they want to do or they want to say, woohoo, the lovers. Okay. Uh, for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Gemini, not necessarily. You could be dealing with another fire sign too. Um, but the lovers in terms of what they want to say is like, I think they want to come together with you. Uh, they want to have an equal partnership. Okay. Um, they want to make things balance with you. They want to express themselves. The lovers is also about making a choice, right? So your person could be making a choice here in terms of being this giving individual that you have wanted them to be. Okay. Um, this person is also kind of, I feel has like had a sense of enlightenment in terms of the things that they have recently experienced. And they're realizing that their purpose really is here to be with you. Okay. And to give you the attention, uh, the nurturing, the love that you deserve. And they've kind of stepped into a space where they're acknowledging that they're accepting it. And they're really to really kind of in a place now where they can provide that to you because now mentally they're there. Okay. Maybe physically before, you know, they've always been there physically, but now I feel like mentally they've stepped into that space of where they're willing to give, willing to receive, and really kind of, they're really to open up to your needs and to what it is you want from them and need to them. And they're willing to give it to you. That's pretty cool. Aries. Wish I was an Aries right now, huh? All right. Let's see. Just kidding. I love being a Leo, but I like you Aries too. You guys are awesome. Some of my good friends are Aries. You know who you are if you're watching this video. Um, so let's see what we got here. We're going to pull. Ooh, there it is. TikTok. This is a card from the Wisdom of the Oracle. Okay. TikTok. How nice is this? I'll read what the book has to say, but it is about time and needing to do something in terms of time. Maybe the time is here for you to take a step forward um, into something you've been thinking about. Okay, let's see what it says. TikTok, timelessness, divine timing, immeasurable time. The Oracle's message, when humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the past is behind them and the future ahead of them. But what if, what if that isn't true at all? What if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to co-create the life you desire, so release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape each moment to your expectations, knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are right here now and always show up when you need them. Right on time. Relationship message. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive cycle have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Everything has its season. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Yeah, we got some give and receive there talk. Its clock is eternal and ticks according to the beating of your heart. In perfect rhythm, isn't that wonderful to know love is always right on time? So what that's telling me, Aries, is that love is right on time for you, right? And we're seeing it here with the lover's card, with um, in the position of what your person wants to say. 
I think they're telling you here that they're ready to give you this love that you have wanted from them, okay? Um, and also, you know, at the beginning, we talked about you being in this position of wanting to have equal give and take and how you're making choices to move towards that, okay? Also keep in mind that these roles can be reversed, okay? Like if I said all of this about your person, it's very possible that it could resonate with you, okay? Sometimes the roles are reversed. But these two cards actually they have very similar coloring here. Um, I hope that comes through in the camera, but I think these two go together, right? In terms of like your person being ready to give you the love that you've been desiring and likewise maybe from you maybe you're ready for that now okay all this is saying that it's happening in perfect timing you guys are coming together not only physically for some of you guys have already physically been together but i'm saying like more like in this soul kind of way where you're both willing to kind of give to each other now okay and this is saying that this is happening at the time that it's meant to all right aries that's a beautiful reading i hope you liked it um give me a thumbs up if you did i would love it if you subscribe to my channel it really helps my channel grow um, I'm, I am doing a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of that giveaway, drop me a comment that says the number three, the letter K, subscribe to my channel. That will automatically enter you. Uh, what else? I am now taking personal readings. So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can look at the description box below and I will, um, and you can book one with me. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.